All right, so this is the position that we're going to look at today. So we're actually going to, like later on, we're going to re reinforce some of the passes that we've already done over the last couple of weeks because uh, we're, we're basically looking to get ourselves back into the same position that we were uh, over the last couple of weeks. Could you just let go for a second, Richard? But what we've done previously is we started from the outside and we've had the advantage of just putting ourselves directly into the position. Now we're going to look at when our partner's got uh, his De La Hiva, outside De La Hiva hook in, he's got this collar grip, so he's controlling my posture, and he's got the pant grip. So, if, he, if we're past this leg, then we don't need to worry too much about the collar grip. If we're over the top of this, and we're able to sit down, and we're able to get the posture, then we don't need to worry too much about this grip that's on the collar. But if he's playing here, and he's stretching me out, and making life difficult, uh, this has to be a priority for me. If he's able to pull on the collar, and get my hips up high, then he's able to raise me up, and make my balance really difficult. So, if his foot is in front, it has to be a priority to get rid of this uh, collar grip first. So we're gonna go two on one on this collar grip, and we're gonna, as we push with the arms, we're going to snap our head back. If you want to, while we set up the second grip, keep hold of this grip and just stuff it down into the body so he's not able to re-grip, then this is gonna be a good idea. If I just go snap, let go, go for my grips, and he can just go straight back to where he wants to go. So the grip here, we're gonna go two on one, snap it off, stuff into the body, and then we're gonna look for the grip on the collar. One of the things that he wants to do with his De La Hiva is he wants to be able to break down this knee and start like turning me around. So we can start looking for sweeps, looking for back takes, looking for bowlers, stuff like that. So to help me with this, I'm gonna turn my toes to the outside, with the grip that I've got, I'm going to pull his shoulders off the floor and I'm going to put my elbow to the inside of my knee. So now if he tries to turn my knee by pushing with his De La Hiva, I have a really strong position on that. Once I've got this set into position, now this has to become a priority. So I can let go of this arm now, take the hand to the ankle or just to the shin, and we're going to just take a slight step back. We don't want to take this like big step back, because now I give him the availability for going to the back. So it just wants to be like just a little disconnect and step up over the top. And you can see we kind of get ourselves back to that headquarters position that we've been working on. Continue to have the elbow to the inside, and we're gonna to go to the grip on the knee. If this De La Hiva is still being a bit of an issue for you and he's chucking you around, moving you, one way that we can deal with that just in this position is just by straightening the leg. So it's just sitting back, straightening the leg, and then come back into position again, just so that we whip that De La Hiva hook out. Now we're in exactly the same position that we were when we were working uh, last week in the class, in the headquarters position, and it opens up all those different passes that, we, that we've been looking at. So for this just first section, I want you to just look at going through the stages of dealing with the De La Hiva position when he's got the pant grip, but the pant grip for now, we're not even gonna worry about. We'll worry about that when we go start going for the passes. The collar grip, if the foot is in front, has to be dealt with. So we're gonna grip two on one, strip the grip off. Punch into the stomach, get the grip, pull the elbow in so he's not able to break down um, my leg and start turning me to the side. Turning the toes to the outside is really gonna help with that as well. Lift the shoulders up, once we've got that, hands gonna to go to the ankle, little step back, and then back over the top, nice and heavy, to the outside. At this point, if he grabs hold of the collar, that doesn't bother me too much, because I've got a real good base for being able to keep my posture. And now that I'm past the feet, connection is what I want, and he's kinda of like giving me that connection. If I wanna get rid of the De La Hiva hook, we're well, gonna keep the weight, just straighten the leg, and then pop it out. And then from this position, this is where we're gonna look for our pass. All right, so let's go through the details, the process of making sure that we stay safe, we're not able to get sweat, we get ourselves into a nice decent position for making our passes work. Okay? All right, let's do it. One, two, three. All right, so we've managed to get ourselves locked in, if you go for a plank grip like we had, Sorry. that's it, yeah. So we've managed to get ourselves into this headquarters position. He's still got the pant grip, so, going over some of the passes that we looked at the last couple of weeks. So, 
Combining them is gonna be super important. Number one pass that we can go for here is going straight across into for the knee cut. Into here. Now, if I do that dynamically enough and fast enough, the chances are that the pank grip's gonna disappear anyway. And if it does, great. If he doesn't lose the pank grip and we move across, then we can try to force it. If he keeps hold of it, then we're gonna need to change up the pass. If the knee shield comes in front, then we're gonna need to go back anyway. We can either go back, re-block the knee, and then shoot through, or if he's still got the pank grip, we're gonna need to come across. He's still got the pank grip, so we're gonna go to the opposite side and sprawl out. If you sprawl hard, there's absolutely no way he's gonna be able to keep hold of that pank grip. When we sprawl through, it's gonna really hurt his fingers. Then keep down nice and tight and make come through for the pass. If we go for the knee cut, he's got the pant grip and we brings the knee shield in front. Again, the option is, is that we're gonna go across and we're gonna do the folding pass. If he's lost the pant grip at this point, then we're gonna punch back across and we can go back to the X pass that we were looking at. So what I want you to basically do is just have a little play with some of the passes and linking them together. If the pant grip's on there, We've got the grip, we've got the grip, we move across. If we do it dynamically enough, maybe we lose the pant grip. If he's still got hold of the pant grip here, then we're gonna need to come back across and come down for the folding pass. If we go for the knee cut and the knee shield comes in, we're gonna go back, we can use the elbow to block and then come back through for the knee cut. If we go for the knee cut, the knee shield comes in and he doesn't have the pant grip. We move back to the center. We come through for the X pass. So all I want you to do is just have a little play with the position, the headquarters. The person on the bottom, I want you to have a little play with your defenses. Keep the pant grip. Let go of the pant grip. Bring the knee shield in. Don't have the knee shield in. And just see if the person can make an educated decision on which pass they're going to go for. Okay? Let's do it. One, two, three. Okay, so the last option that we're gonna look at, he's got his De La Hiva, he's got his pan grip. We've got our grip here, but for whatever reason, I'm not able to get this like pushed through. He's just got too good a contact with the foot. So we're gonna grip, you can grab the ankle. Like for this one, I prefer like this tight, like grip on the, on the pants, like down here by the ankle. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna like turn our body. So this side is gonna turn in. We're gonna lift our toes and we're gonna turn our toes out. When we turn our toes out, number one, we're gonna get rid of the De La Hiva, but number two, you see how it kind of that just turns my body to the side. Opposite direction that he wants. He wants this to be turned this way, to collapse me down, start looking to go towards the back. So when I make this turn like this, it just gives me a little window to pull. This, this one across. And then we're going to then switch back and try to get our armpit in front of this knee. If we stay high on this, then what Rich is gonna be able to do is start turning his knee in, moving his hips out, bringing his leg over the top, and then resetting himself back into the guard position. So from the pant grip, De La Hiva, and the foot on, we're gonna make the grip here, we're gonna make that turn of the body. Just lift the toes, turn, turn on the ball of the foot here. As we make the turn, we're gonna drop. Drop down in front. If you want extra security on this, we're gonna let go. We're gonna grab hold of the trousers just to lift the hips up. So if he tries to turn in towards me now and bring that knee in, like I have a lot of control. Then we can drop down. If he's still got the pant grip here, and that's being a problem for us to continue our pass, Drop the weight down. We're gonna go underhook. We're gonna walk up until we feel like we've got that super tight, and then we're gonna sprawl back. Pull ourselves up through into the pass. So, he's got the De La Hiva, he's got the pant grip. Only thing is, is I just can't get this stuffed and sit on it to get to the full head course. So we're gonna make the grip, that little turn, drag. Our armpit goes in front, hand comes down to the hips, really drive into our partner. If he's still got the pant grip, we're gonna go under for the underhook. Once we've got that tight and in, 
we're going to sprawl back to get rid of the plank grip move up and through for the pass really work that movement so we're going to lift the toes turn this way and on this foot we're going to go up you see how that just like, turns my hips to the side with that little window to drag across last one let's do it one two three Thank you.